So what's going on? I'm um, having some dynamite iced tea. That's exciting. Uh, exciting. What? Uh, it's it's a it's a flavored <coughs> iced tea. Um, from my favorite tea place, Harney and Sons. They have these iced tea bags. You put them in a couple cups of hot water for 15 minutes, then you add cold water, and it just tastes like good iced tea. But what do you, what do you think I got the flavoring to be? Plain. No? Plain I sugar. Said, I said sweetened. it's flavored. Uh, I'm saying plain. Plain flavor. I'll take the plain flavor, please. I'll take the most With generic flavor. What's the most generic flavor they have? Lemon? Black, I guess. Okay, black. I bet you got black. It is, it is, but it's flavored with something. What's the most generic flavor? What's the least, like, <laughs> exciting flavor? <laughs> Actually, when I tell you the word, it's going to be the thing that means the most generic flavor. Yeah, I know. I don't know what it is, but I know I'm right. <laughs> what word means the most generic? Like, uh, if you said someone was this, original, they would be... Original flavored. <laughs> nope, they'd be really boring. Milk toast. Flavored. Nope. That would be great though if they had that flavor. Uh, uh, vegetable lasagna, iced tea. Ah, that would be. Gross. But not flavored like vegetable lasagna. That's just you're boring. You're a boring person if you're vegetable lasagna. That would be confusing for everyone who bought. Oh yeah, same word. It's a it's a flavoring though. It's a real flavoring. Yeah. But it means that you would say someone. I'm is just this. surprised that when you started off the episode by saying we only got 45 minutes, let's see how tight we could be. You're really pushing <laughs> me trying to guess what the word generic is. Why are you touting this iced tea so much? I'm been, so sad. Where's sad this real that time? You can't I think, guess I, this word. I'm just saying. I think I'm editing this real Did time, a, people. We're almost three minutes into this conversation. <laughs> Um, Did you have a real busy night or a tough night? I went out with my cousins last night. My brain might be off a little bit. Um, I see. Uh, it's it's vanilla flavored. Vanilla. Okay. You know, you say something is vanilla yeah. if it's boring. Yeah, I guess I just didn't think. I, I mean, that went through my mind, but I thought my I, other ideas were funnier because I I thought I I'm surprised that like <laughs> vegetable lasagna that was funny. Pretty good, right? You went <laughs> ooh, and then I had to explain it, so maybe it wasn't the best joke, but. <laughs> uh, okay, well, how was vanilla flavored iced tea? Vegetable it's lasagna. Good. Like it's sweet, but it doesn't have a lot of sugar. It's good. Did you have a plain bagel with it? I'll have an unbuttered plain bagel, please. No, I always have butter, but I do like plain bagels. Yeah. Mm, nothing better than a plain bagel with some some original flavor iced tea in the morning. Where That's you, why I watched that. I watched where that are you going movie today, there. Jared? Down for a drive down Main Street. Same guy who directed Meet the Parents. Okay. You have a ghost behind you, by the way. Do you have something you need? Yes, I would like to start my test, please. Okay. You need a computer. You gotta be tight today, I'm a tight. Well, how much longer is that? Because I wanna do it now. I just got on, so. Okay, so I'm gonna go get it. Sort of interrupting. 30 minutes? No. We haven't even gotten to the part where we introduced the show yet, Emma. Can't you wait until the end of this? You know it's Saturday afternoon in the mag room because Emma's coming to to interrupt. All around the world you can hear them. Hey, hey, hey. Talking about using kind of funny stuff. Hey, hey, hey. Mag room. Mag room. The mag room. The mag room. Shut up. Mom said I could come in here. You said you've been doing this. Mom said life. I could interrupt. Mom <laughs> said I should be a pain in the butt today. We, we just came in. We just started. Mark was late. I don't see why you need For to throw it back up on minutes. me. Three of which were talked about <laughs> trying to get to the word vanilla, by the way. <laughs> Worst episode ever. I don't, Just I, your head how there. do I log into your place? What place? On Hotchkiss, the web thing. Do I just Google Hotchkiss? No, you have a student portal. Go to your emails. Oh, I'm, in the wrong, I'm in the wrong account. Okay. Well, that's not my fault. Well, you just said get a computer. I see. I have to tell you everything? Yes, that's literally why I came in here. If you're thirsty, drink water. <coughs> Sleep with your eyes closed. Laying down. Must not be or that important. Or propped up if you have sitting heartburn. on the floor behind you, right? Yeah, she has to take her placement test, so. See where she places? I guess. 
Maybe I should give her a placement test. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should place your fist in her face. Wow, That's that child would be, abuse, huh? Yeah, that would not be good. What would it be good, Dad? Nothing. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> it's for the best. Wow, now you're a tough guy? Oh, no. Yeah, because well, he's Maybe he's going to turn around and give you old knuckles. <laughs> How come nobody says Ooh. knuckle sandwich anymore? Wouldn't that it be a great... Gr- it would be a great turnaround, though, if she gave me a knuckle sandwich. Yeah. Just out of nowhere. You found out that, like, Emma just beats the hell out of me all the time? And your password. My password? Yes, I don't have Emma's account on this computer. I don't remember my password. Well, that's not my fault, is it? Don't be okay. snarky okay. to your dad. Now you gotta get the idea. Interrupt the episode oh. and you're disrespecting your father? Jesus. This is my How fault because she forgot to do it yesterday. Room. I have to tell her to do everything. Shush. Okay. Okay. This this Chromebook's not working. So what do I do? You just have to wait till I'm done, and I'll log you in here. I need to do the test now. You don't. Yes, I do. Well, you can't do it right now. I have other things I want to move on to. Then do that stuff right now, and then come back, and then 30 minutes, and I'll set you up. I'll just get mom. You're not being helpful at all. I don't understand why you, like, laugh at me. I'm not <laughs> laughing. Like, if we were off right now, you would be working on this for like 30 minutes until it worked. And now you just. We just tried it. It's going to yeah, work on this on the computer. Podcast. This is a podcast. I don't have another computer. <laughs> That's content right there. That's good. Folks, see, he gave up. He fought with his daughter for our show. Okay, what else? Anything else you got? Um, well, why don't you do your thing since we're so low on time? All right. Sisk stories. Sisk Jumping like right in. Sisk story. Um, <coughs> so, you know how our, I mean, our, we don't usually talk about government in this show, but our government, sometimes it gets a little crazy. Let's start, let's start uh, gearing our show towards these types of topics. <laughs> People yell at each other, but I've heard read this article, and it was about Taiwan Parliament, and okay. I guess there was a reform a reform bill on the on the floor, and basically they were gonna cast a vote, but lawmakers decided instead of casting the vote, they were gonna scream and shove each other, this is and part then of the on process? the floor, there, yeah, there purpose? was a chaos where they. Jumped onto tables, pinned colleagues to the floor. One lawmaker was hospitalized after falling off a platform and injuring his head. Um, overall, and then the end was Guo Guowen decided he didn't want the bill passed, so he just grabbed the bill documents and ran away. Nice. And do you think so? I was wondering, does that prevent it from being is that all they have like if if there's like one copy like couldn't the guy be like wait we got another copy right here of the yeah of all the, the bill com- or- all the computers and stuff that we have are made in taiwan but in taiwan they don't even use that stuff they just use handwritten <laughs> pieces of paper i read that in and this the article print, and the guy writes it out handwritten and there's only one copy and yeah. then they don't even have a copy the- machine like they, yeah they don't have anything there Very- i was envisioning like I don't know, my kids, where, like, Brennan will grab something and hold it up high and try, and Teddy will try to grab it, and he'll run around the room, and someone will scream. Yeah. Yeah, that's how, uh, what is it? Taiwan, right? Yeah. That's how Taiwanese parliament works. It's very much like a, like a nursery school play, uh, atmosphere. Sounded a lot cooler to watch. One group was against pork imports, and they spilled just pig guts all over the floor of the parliament. To show that they were against it. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Say that one more time. What were they against? They were against pork import, some pork import bill. So they took a big sack of pig guts and like cut it and spewed it all over the so floor. So that was your protest. Would you make sure that you, the pig guts you were spilling on the floor were imported? They were imported. Yeah. They were imported. No, yeah, you would make you sure say they, that? if they they weren't, you would say, I, these are Taiwanese well, pig you, guts. Well, that's <laughs> that's. <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. If the beginning, do you have a video clip of that thing? The beginning of that, because I'd like to see what the guy screamed at the beginning of the pig guts. Uh, <laughs> I don't not have a video clip. Because that would, be, that would, I would be definitely the end, be like, right? these are the pig guts of an imported pig. 
It did the wrong accent, but... And then it would just stink, and you'd be like, I don't really understand what he's trying to prove by... Yeah. This is a guts. school board meeting, guy. You're at the wrong place. <laughs> we're, we're approving the new textbook for... We're 1612. You, you're thinking of 1812 Main Street. <laughs> that would be... Because you couldn't undo it once you spilled it. Yeah. That would suck. Um, all right. Six six story, six number story. two. Um, this is about, so, um, does your neighborhood have, like, rules of things you can and can't do? We call them prison like, rules. You- yeah, not a lot of them. <laughs> What kind of rules do they have? Uh, murder. You can't murder people. Um, <laughs> I didn't mean laws. I like, oh, oh, oh. That's like what, just that's like, what ours are. That kind of oh, thing. Just, not like like you can't put a pink flamingo on your lawn or you can't no, I'm in the paint un- your house I'm in a the certain uncor- color. If you look up my zip code, I'm in an unincorporated area of, Ju- of uh, Palm Beach County. So I've got a so very... It's, so it's barely part of America. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm... Uh, I'm essentially my own country just by owning like an acre and a third there. You're like above the law. I'm adjacent to the law. Outside the law? That's what it would be. Outside the law. I do. I like to live outside the law. That's that's accurate. So you could do whatever you want. You could open a store on your property. No, you could I mean, if, like... we, if we're talking real life, no. I, 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 I'm still in a residential area. Can't. I see. But people out here do run their businesses. There's a lot of mechanics, a lot of guys with separated buildings that are the shops for their businesses and stuff so it's it's that kind of place you can you could own like a i used to know a guy that um built rebar um built um racks that rebar factories would use to move the rebar around their factories and he would do all the welding and stuff in a shed or not even a shed like a almost like a tiki hut like a like a, a structure that was just poles and a roof and he had his big welding set up under there, and he would put these things together out there in his backyard, right next to a big pond. It's kind of a cool setup, kind of a uh, wow. Patrick Swayze in um, yeah. Roadhouse setup, you know? Does he do Tai Chi at the end of the day? He's drank a lot of beer at the end of the day. He was a <laughs> big beer guy. I jumped off, I, 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 jumped, I dove off a dock into his pond. Okay. That's like Swayze-like. Yeah. That's what he said when I did it. Although Swayze was probably a really good diver. I don't know. Are your diving skills good? Uh, at one point in time. I mean, I was a he swimmer. Was just, if Swayze was just in really good shape. Yeah. Yeah, 10 years ago, I wasn't in Swayze shape, for sure. <laughs> Maybe Don Swayze. I might have been nice. in Don Swayze shape. Yeah, local drunk Don Swayze. <laughs> Patrick Swayze really does have a semi-famous brother named Don. Oh really? He, it's like Frank Stallone, him he, and Frank, Frank in a Stallone, band. <clears throat> he, Frank Stallone, and Joey Travolta, like in the early two thousands. I remember they had some sort of um, some maybe super like a group, like a nightclub act or something. They used to tour the country. Sure. Um, and you're just hoping one of the real guys shows up while they're there, but they never do. Or you're just a huge Joey Travolta fan. Yeah. Yeah, they look. I, they I, all look exactly like those guys: Joey Travolta, Don Swayze, and. Who well, was, you figured once did because Patrick Swayze's dead, right? Patrick Swayze is dead, right? So why don't they get Don Swayze now if he looks just like him? I, uh, I don't know. I guess he just doesn't have the same char- charisma that Patrick did. And they, then just Pat, when, they, they used to say that when Patrick Swayze entered a room, the whole room lit up. He does kind of look like him. Yeah, it looks a lot like he's a, him. He's actually a stuntman. He was in some soap operas. Well, you know, so your parents are in like a, like a neighborhood thing that's like a more managed, right? Like has does have like HOA. a yeah, sure. So they probably have some rules, like they can't sure paint a fence or whatever. They got to get the approval of the yeah. Yeah, local old people board or they get a letter or even then... the fact that they call it the local old people board I feel like you should just <laughs> update that because it makes it sound so oppressive you know <laughs> so this guy uh, ETN constable in California had his boat in his driveway 
And the city, or maybe I guess one of his neighbors complained, said he had to build a fence in front of it to, like, block the boat. Okay. So what he did was he built the fence, and then he had his artist friend paint an exact replica of (laughs) Of the the boat boat. (laughs) from the part down and the background. So literally in the driveway, it just looks like you could see still the top of the boat, and then it exactly connects with the picture. So it just looks like there's the boat in his driveway. Kudos. What's his name? Etienne? Yeah. Kudos. That's a great, uh, whoa, what's that called? Demonstration? A, a great yeah. uh, burn, rebuttal. Like a burn, too, right? <laughs> Good burn. Did you used to, if somebody burned somebody else, did you ever lick your tip of your finger and then touch that person and pretend you got burned? As a, to... Sometimes, yeah, like a tss. Yeah, I like that. That's a cool move. Yeah. Is that or either you were hot, like if somebody was hot on fire. Oh, I never... Oh, you mean... I thought you meant attractive. You meant literally on fire. You could do it. No, like you're doing something great. Like you're... Oh, oh, like you're on a roll type of thing. Yeah. It could be a hot girl too, but that you'd do probably sneakily. Now, if you were on a roll, did anybody ever pretend to cut butter and spread it (laughs) upon you? They would... Yes. They'd spread the butter on me. We had a whole... Uh, language of <laughs> finger gestures for 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 interacting with each other when I was How in high school. How do you do school. the cut butter and spread it with your finger? That'd be harder to do. Two fingers? These two? Why would you spread? Were you an animal? You spread your with butter a knife. with your fingers? Like a knife. Well, Wanted to look it, more like, it, Oh, you're pretending like you're holding the knife. I see. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just thought that was cool. Like a nice, nice dis- Like I love the like when you're smart ass to the response, but it actually works. Yeah, people people do that all the time. It's like, what is it called? It's like passive aggressive, I guess, or um, c- civil disobedience. You you try uh, a lot of different things, Mark. Right? You make fun of me for not trying things, and yep. you try things. Yeah, I did that this episode. So yeah, it's, it was great. Fit right in. So there are these, you know what conjoined twins are? Oh, yeah. Av- <laughs> Avi and Brittany Hensel. You know, did you bring this because you know that I hate birth defects? Birth defects are, they make me so squeamish. Okay. No, I didn't know that. No. They are um, fused side by side with a shared pelvis. Oh. They even have a show on TLC oh. called Abby and Brittany. Oh, I hope it's not exploitative. Yeah. Three years ago... Abby got married to a U.S. Army veteran, Josh Bowling. <sighs> so this, is a this story, led to it? many questions about how the married couple share intimate moments with Brittany always at Abby's side. So any ideas how that would work? Or? <laughs> All right, so how do you bang a conjoined twin? Um... Like, what does the other one do? Maybe they made a special mask for him that he can't see her. Like, just the one half of his face is the left side of his face, whatever. I see. Like, um, could you put a little, like, a little But on the inside between? of the mask, but on the inside of the mask, he secretly painted an exact replica of what she would look like, much like the guy with the boat fence. <laughs> the guy with the boat fence. So he... Oh, that's they, a tremendous addition to it. They don't think that he can see her, but he can see her. Imagine he's like, no, the guy is like, hey, look, we got, what's the other one called? Brittany, we got this wall thing, so it'll be more comfortable. Then he puts the wall down, and it's actually just a a copy of them getting it on in the other side of the wall. Yeah. Is that how he coped with it? Is that the right answer? I didn't. Um, Basically, all the the things here say that like there won't be any jealousy since Britney's not actually in the relationship, but it's a polyamorous relationship. Like Britney has to watch all the stuff going on. I bet it's really hard to get a conjoined twin into a new sexual position while you're. Yes. You you can't flip them around, right? Yeah. I don't like stuff like this. I wish you hadn't. I don't know. I just don't know how it would work. Like, I seem like as a, it would be, like, I would have performance anxiety, I feel like. I don't like, stuff like that is, I'm squeamish, and then I feel bad for the people, but they're the ones that signed up for to be a TV show about Yeah, you. I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't a, the guy wasn't surprised, it wasn't like, at, after they got married, she's like, hey, look. By the way, 
Um, could you? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it wasn't. Um, I don't know what. What would you? I don't know what these people look like, but they're like next to each other. They're conjoined at the hip. She said, or the. You want to see a picture? No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> Please don't put it up there. I guess for the sake of the thing. Oh. <laughs> that was Roadhouse. Oh, oh, <laughs> Jesus. There it is. They look really happy. They do look happy. Oh man! So Which one is he married like, to? It looks like kind it of must a... be this one with this arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? I think do they get I think it's do they get domain over over the one arm? Uh, domain, yeah. Oh yeah. Does he like? You know how when a girl when you're doing dirty stuff like the girl will put her fin- like put a finger and you kind of suck on her finger has Joni oh, on the yeah. left ever put her finger in Steve's mouth or is it I always the... this isn't going to end up well our our relationship or their relation our talk our conversation or their no, marriage their their relationship yeah it's like so easy to cheat on the other one I by mean accident. they're both into him right it's not like Joni no, loves I don't him think and so. Renee hates him or whatever, right? Well, I mean, she probably couldn't hate him, but... I wonder if he's ever gotten into fight with one of them, but not the other. Like, oh, yeah. Imagine he, start, imagine he really hate. Like, sometimes people don't like, like, their yeah. sibling, their, their, their significant other's sibling. But you can imagine come into my store him. and, like, I, I've had these conversations. I hate my f***ing wife's sister, you know? But I've never yeah. had that conversation with a guy whose wife... Was a sister's twin. always around. Imagine yeah. he comes in, he's like, my wife's sister's always around. What are you whispering around. about over there? Always around. I can't get rid of her. She's always there. I hate your sister. I can't stand your sister. <laughs> I can't stand Oh, you need a special signal, like the, the hot thing. <laughs> um, I like your leg. I like your leg more than I like her leg. <laughs> oh, God. Right. Your, side of the, your side of the body is hotter. When I saw this one, I was like, this could just go so poorly, but I'll just bring it anyway. <laughs> I think your side of the body is way prettier than hers. <laughs> I like when you do that side of your hair. Oh, wait, no, she's got a full head. Sorry. Um, all right, well, those are the three I brought. Anything you got? Uh, what did I bring? I actually just thought of some stupid little thing to give you because I don't... I, I hate your sister stories. I like when you... Um, I, I like when you tell stories about your own life. So I printed okay. up... I printed up a list of ten words. And I don't know how... I guess maybe just... you Give me a number between one and ten. I'll give you a word. And you have to tell me a story, like, from your life. It doesn't have to be about this item or verb or adjective or whatever but just tell me a story that about from your life that involves this that has this word in it somewhere does that make sense to you okay I know i'm kind of putting you on the spot here but sure yeah this could go poorly yeah but it could but i think we have uh number one. number nine level i just randomly selected words out of a it was actually something called a random word generator okay but it, i mean it generated actual words they weren't random yeah. words like L T Q S R. Do you have any stories that has the word level in them? Maybe um, a great story about uh, getting to a new level at a video game when you were 12 years old. Or, I was thinking about that. Or maybe you built a shelf and you finally got it level after trying for two days. You found something I've, in the wall. I've never made anything level. <clears throat> I have a story. I mean, it's not about level, but about our uh, carpet. Um, so that we've been on a little mouse battle lately, battling the mice in the house. So the mouse mice have been getting caught in the basement. That's fine. But then sometimes in the attic, and lately I haven't been in the attic. So the last, like once I went up there and thing was like rotting and bugs were crawling out of its stomach. So it was like disgusting to bring it down, to throw it outside. And then this last time... How did you touch it? With a shovel or your hands? I have or a dust gloves. Ooh, I got oh, gloves. Oh, wow. Okay. What kind, um, of, what kind of animal was it? A mouse? A mouse. Okay. And then, yeah, I don't know where the bugs come from. It was like crawling out of it. So it's like, did the bugs live in there already? Where did they come from? No, like fruit later. flies? There's mouse flies or something like that? Oof. Um, so the second one was dead, and it had like something like the shit had seeped through its body. 
So like half its body was just like oozing or whatever. So I pick it up. I'm like, all right, I'll just bring it downstairs. That was a dumb move because it dripped on our carpet. So I thought it was just a little drip. I bring it downstairs. I throw it outside. I'm like, Michelle, it sucks. I got a little drip. It's just a little spot. She goes get some bleach, rubs it on there. All good. So the next day I get home, and at the bottom of the stairs, which I didn't see the day before, so we're still confused if this is how it got there. There's like three large black spots that look sort of like the drip from before. They're probably like, they're bigger than a quarter, um, probably two or three quarters if you put them together. So it's pretty big. I'm just like, what is this? Is the, the guys from clean from work coming they didn't take off their shoes like the guys who fix stuff or so i'm like all right well michelle got our carpets like whitish so she got the bleach before i'll get the bleach so i bleach it wipe it up and then it just looks like a huge stain (laughs) brown yeah so what michelle like Michelle's trying to clean it, she's getting carpet. She's like, I don't know what this stuff is. I'm like, maybe it's the mouse. I don't. She's like, yeah, but it should clean. She's like, was it? What color was it? Was it like? I was like, well, it was black. And she's like, oh no. So I guess if you bleach something that's black, it like turns orange. Yeah, that's how t-shirts are. So yeah, so my carpet's gonna be partially orange, and then, so then I looked up online. Could I put like a runner just on, on the bottom? Because the bottom of the stairs is a little slippery anyway. People slip on it. So I was like, oh, I could just put a little runner over this. But they curve around. So I was literally looking it up. And they're like, cut this, level this, look at this. You got to put this around. This has to be a right angle. And the guy did it in like four minutes. But I sent it to Michelle. And she was like, I don't, I don't think we're able to handle that. So... I think we're just going to have, like, a stain at the bottom of our stairs for the, for the rest of our time here. If you could do this whole thing over, what would you do? <laughs> put, the, put, the ba- put the mouse in, like, a, um, yes, a something bag to be upstairs. The, so you would, no. Yes, if I had known it was going to leak on the floor. So you were holding a dead mouse in a glove. I had it in the trap. In the trap. It was still, its neck was in the trap. I was just like holding it and bringing it downstairs. And something from its dead body dripped onto the floor. Then yes. be, Then became three spots. And I don't know where the other spots came. Maybe the mouse came back at night and was like, F- you, I'm staining your carpet more. I don't know. All right, we should wrap it up. What do you have at four o'clock anyway? What do you have to do? Um, I have duty tonight. I told my wife I was going to go to on a walk with her before we made dinner. So I'd already... T- so it wasn't like a hard plan. It's just more... We had sort of planned the day. I thought we were going to sneak in like 2 to 3.30. Yeah. So And then you left. You like said 1.30 and then you just disappeared. And Yeah. Because I didn't answer right away. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Where did you go? I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody needs to know where I was from 1.30 from to 2.30 today. <laughs> it's, good when, it's good when you send me a thing, 1.30, and then you don't respond for like an hour and a half. So Yeah. Well, I, I thought really the situation sh- was going to re- remedy itself before then, but... <laughs> oh, did you sh- your pants again? <laughs> no. <laughs> you had to go home and change and I shower and... radio silent when I sh- my pants. <laughs> uh, I can see that. You got... Missions got, gotta be, my mission's been compromised, Jared. I'm sorry. <laughs> got to be by yourself for a little while. I can totally see that. <laughs> got all over my new white carpet. Oh, man. Is it going to be a long weekend? <laughs> why do I keep wearing all these white pants? I don't so know why. stupid. Yeah. So, yeah. So, we both had some things. I shouldn't have told you what I needed to do. Maybe I'll be secret next time. I just fell asleep. I was oh, out okay. with my cousins last night. Came home. That's great. Yeah. I just I nodded the off. story's better. Just bleep out that you fell asleep. Good. All right, produced by Don Swayze, fact-checked by Bill, theme song by Maggie Yellock, social media by Cousin Paul. He's been rocking it on Instagram, at the Magroom Pod. Send us an email, themagroom at hotmail.com, or a letter or a fax. Hashtag put down your phone this week. I've been yelling at the kids more. I feel like I got to tone it down a little bit because they're going to... 
tell on me or something, but it's really starting to bother me. My daughter was walking around You're the house the other day. specifically about the phone thing? Yeah, she was walking around the house. Like, I was like, you got to get ready for school. She does it at breakfast, which I'm fine. She's eating her breakfast, texting her friends. Great. I could catch up on stuff. But then she gets up from the table and she just like walks around with it like it's part of her arm. Just and she's always her. late for getting ready. So I'm like, Emma, once you're done with breakfast, you got to put the phone down and go get ready. I don't look at him like that's all you're doing. You're like a zombie. I went out. I went out with them last night, and they wanted we were gonna I don't know take a picture of something or something. And I said, oh, I don't have my phone on me, and um, and I don't remember which one of them said, oh, that's impressive. Like I don't I'm I don't yeah. need my phone. So you should have said, have you ever listened to the Mag Room? We have several listeners were at the at the dinner last night. Laura, my my sister was with us. Cousin Kate was there, and then um, she's not really a cousin. She's like a cousin. She's one of those. Uh, her dad is I call him Uncle Fran. I don't anymore. But I like see. when I was little, I called him Uncle Fran. <laughs> hey, Uncle Fran. <laughs> but uh, but he's like he's one of those. You still super sit close on his knee. Friends. It's kind of yeah. weird. Yeah, I'm like I'm 48 years old. I don't know. <laughs> think it's that odd. No. He, uh, did they did the podcast come up at all? Yeah. Really? Well, just, I yeah. Saying, I think I people want. Gonna... I think people think me. I pe- think people think I want them to talk about it. But what I want is I them see. to never talk about it. Yeah, I see. I could see that. Um. So yes, it came up. I surprised. I didn't know if they would bring Carrie, it up. I didn't Carrie Carrie said, oh, "I like to when she walks." Something like when she walks, she it makes her walk more when she listens to us. I think she's she like, I got to get home faster so I can turn it off, <laughs> and then take a shower and wash the filth off me. <laughs> no, like I, 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 I think she like a thirty-minute walk can turn into a forty-two-minute walk if it happens to be a forty-two-minute episode. Oh, of the bag so she room, has like the longer episodes. That's there what you she go. said. Some, well, she just said it makes her walk longer. So I kind of flipped what that meant and said, oh, maybe you like means you like the longer episodes. Yeah, I don't know. All right, that's great. And hashtag don't kill your wife. Yeah, I like that. And one. I don't have another hashtag, but I think we'll just we'll leave it at that. Conjoined twins are the best. Yeah, we we appreciate conjoined twins and appreciate all they go through. Yeah. And I'm gonna go now talk to my daughter who probably wants to kill me because of this test she has to take. Oh, yeah, so I hope this is a good episode, given that you're not might have strained your you and your daughter's relationship for it. She's just still giving me like a neck. I feel like at one of these points, I'm just going to get a neck punch for from her. Is she tall enough to hit you in the neck without you sort of being able to slip it? My, I'm going, oh, I'm going, last thing, I'm going on that Fugitive podcast on Tuesday. Aww. The One Armed Minute podcast. And there's a scene, the scene I'm doing is when, have you seen The Fugitive, sure. I assume? Sure, At the end... The two doctors are like 50 and they're fighting each other. And I'm like, I'm almost 50. And then Harrison Ford gets like hit with a chair that totally breaks. And I'm like, I would be out for like a week. Someone hit me with a legit wood chair and he just gets back up and keeps fighting. Yeah, but he's fighting because he wasn't the one that murdered his wife. It's true. So you're saying my, my will isn't as strong? No, I think if you were given the situation, you would be strong, Jared. I didn't kill Michelle. I preach about it every week. I wouldn't, like I said, it's... Yeah, I say don't kill your wife. You say don't kill my wife, don't kill your wife, don't kill your wife. It's not just a cover. I really believe that. And then... And then some guy would hit me with a chair and I'd just be like, ah! Yeah, you wouldn't even, it wouldn't even phase you. You'd just do that cool thing. You'd do that cool thing where he'd break it over your back and you'd just kind of slowly turn and look back. Yeah, that's what Ford did. Yeah. I'm like, he's a doctor. Wait, that's what happened not... in the movie? I don't really remember it. He kind of falls down, but then he's like right back up, and he like they're fighting each other. Yeah. I'm saying you wouldn't even be. You would pretend like. I see. It was like a mouse fly, uh, a mouse f- f- dying at my feet and standing I would. I would it. live in a place that has like chairs that are going to break apart Breakaway everywhere. Breakaway chairs. Like, that's a good and idea. Then just, so then I'd look really good. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good um, like life plan if you plan to get in a lot of fights, <laughs> yes. I guess. Although if you sat on them, they probably would break more easily, so you'd get well, out. you get one real so, one, but you always sit in that one. <laughs> you know, the, you're like, hey, we're going to have some people over. Well, hold get on, out I like that. That's over. my favorite chair. Don't sit in that chair. <laughs> yeah. Please, no. please let me have yeah. that one. Why did you guys use the folding chairs? But you got like 10 <laughs> other chairs just laying around. Why I just need, use please those? don't use that particular. It's the only one I want. <laughs> My doctor. All right. Well, if you don't have a famous brother, 
named that's who's who you can mark with a C um, Einloth. March yeah, Mark Soda <laughs> <laughs> with a Q going on tour with Don Swayze and Dirt Dirt Reynolds. Uh Dirt Reynolds. Turd Ferguson. Uh you can always stick, stick with, with the, the mag, mag room. room. And everything else it's Toto It's cream cheese. How do you say everything else in Spanish? Toto Else. Toto else is Toto cream cheese. Toto otros? Toto else is cream otros? queso. Isn't that be else? Totos otros? <laughs> All others? Sure. S. Is it soy? <laughs> it would be S. Fermi. Queso fresco. Queso crema. S. Queso crema. All right. Bienvenidos. All right. Ooh, ooh, I like my groom. I like my groom. Ooh, ooh, my groom is good. My groom is good. Ooh, ooh, I like my groom. I like my groom. Ooh, ooh, my groom is good. My groom is good. The my groom's good. Ooh, ooh, I like my groom. I like my groom. Ooh, ooh, my groom is good. My groom is good. Yeah, now it's it's good. She's good. Now I'm gonna get yelled at.